Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is the week two update for May's 30-day challenge, the Get Moving Challenge. For me, it's been sprints and walking, and this has been an interesting week. I'm going to talk about some of the biometric information in a couple of minutes, but first, here's a little montage of how the week has gone so far. Day five, made it to the bus stop again, another one down. Day six, a little less than average. All right, today, what is it? Day seven, I'm not sure. Worst, worst run yet. Woke up about 5.30, just sort of laid in bed, listening to the voice in my head tell me, ah, oh, it's Saturday, it's cold out, just take a day off. <clears throat> but I didn't, I got out. Really didn't have anything in the tank today, but I got out anyway. I did it. I think sometimes that's what you got to do, you know, to establish a habit, whether you want to or not, whether you're able to give 100% or not, you get out and you do it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Kind of an interesting thing. I've noticed that the thumbnails for every one of my like post running little updates, I have the exact same pained look on my face. I've also found that uh, when I wear a hoodie, I think I look like Bill Belichick, New England Patriots coach. Anyhow, <sighs> another one in the bag. All right, day eight. I actually made it past my average by a decent chunk, probably about halfway between my average and my world record. So today I didn't feel like getting up this morning at 5.30. A pillow and weighted blanket they they created a pretty compelling case to stay in bed so slept in a little bit longer didn't get out run until 6 30. i'm glad i did another one in the bag nine down that's ten this next little chunk is from this morning and i got up extra early this morning and as a result with the low light the, the, the picture quality is a little bit grainy with the selfie stick, but wow, it, it was a great, great walk. I mean, bordering on spiritual, it just, I felt wonderful. It's five in the morning, day 12. What a difference a week makes. It is 72 degrees out right now. Very pleasant. Um, I didn't actually mean to wake up quite this early, but... I woke up around a quarter to five. <laughs> One of my cats uh, made a poop in the litter box and didn't cover it up. And I woke up just from the smell. <laughs> so I cleaned the litter box and then I thought, I'm awake, might as well go out and get a walk. So I'm doing a walk only today. Every day I've been walking and getting in, you know, about 10,000 steps, if not more, throughout the day. Definitely closing the red ring on my Apple Watch. But even though I'm not feeling the muscular soreness anymore in my calves slash shins and inner thighs, I was, I was feeling a little bit worn down. And so I'm, I'm doing the listen to my body thing and just gonna do the walk this morning. If, uh, if I encounter any wildlife, I'll make sure to let you know, see if I can catch some on the camera. So I had to turn off my headphones just to listen to the sounds of nature. This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna quit talking for a second and maybe, maybe you can hear all the frogs. You hear that? In addition to the birds out there. This is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna keep the audio book off for a while this morning and just listen to the sounds of nature. One of the things that I really, really enjoy about my morning walks is the nature aspect of it. The world is just alive at that time of morning. There are so many different birds that I see and I hear, and it's also, it's sort of, I think, mating season right now for a lot of animals, birds, squirrels. It seems like everything I see, I pretty much see in pairs. I also saw my first ever living possum this morning. I've only ever seen them dead beside a road, which reminds me of the joke. How many possums does it take to have sex? Three, two to have sex and one to watch for cars. 
feel free to use that one. I'm also really trying to make an effort to get off the beaten path. In this case, this morning, literally off the beaten path, I found a service road or something like that. It's It sort of splits between the residential neighborhood nearby where I live and sort of a commercial neighborhood, but it's just out in like nowhere, sort of. It's it's nature. You can't see houses or apartment buildings or businesses on this trail. It's a long trail, and there's a, a little stream or, or creek beside it, and it's kind of wild. There's like these little footbridges. I have no idea how old they are. You can see their state of decay, and it just it makes me wonder, when were they made? Who used them? Why did they want to get from one side of the creek to the other? And that, to me, kind of leads to what I'm going to make as a homework assignment for those of you who are doing this challenge along with me, which is observe. When you're out walking, just observe. Look at the whole world with curiosity. It's amazing some of the things that you can see when you decide to just ignore everything else, don't don't have uh, an audiobook going, which is tough for me because I want to make it through some of my audiobooks. But just open your eyes and, and look at stuff. It's crazy what you see. I mean, I, I found a feather, and it looks like a turkey feather. I think it is, because there are a lot of wild turkey that I see from time to time in this area where I was walking. But here's your assignment. Go find something cool when you're walking. Observe something. Something you've not noticed before. And then next week... Tell me what it was. So that's your assignment. We'll talk about it in the comments next week. Now let's talk about some of the biometric data that I've been gathering this month. Well, I've been gathering data forever, but how it has compared this month to previously. One of the questions that I've gotten asked from a few people is, what does any of this that you're doing here, these 30-day challenges, have to do with keto? Well, here is an interesting little bit of data. For the first four months of the year, my average ketones were 0.6. I pretty much hang out in that 0.6 to 0.7 range and have been for quite some time now. For the month of May, however, and I've not done any changes in terms of my diet, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, and for the 11 days so far this month of May that I've been getting out and sprinting and or walking, my average ketones has been 1.5. So they've gone up by 0.9 with no other changes in my life. So there you go. In terms of other data points, and I have to refer to my notes here, my weight is up eight tenths of a pound. That's, I, I can vary that much or more on a daily basis. So I would say that that is statistically irrelevant. However, my body fat is down 2.6% and my muscle mass is up 2.5%. My blood pressure is unchanged. My average heart rate is up, which makes sense because I'm out sprinting and I'm elevating my heart rate. However, my resting heart rate versus the first four months of this year is down by four beats per minute. So I don't know if that's quite statistically significant yet or not, but it seems like all of the important metrics are going in the right direction for me so far this month. So I will keep tracking and keep you updated for the rest of the month. And at that point, make the decision, is this something I want to keep doing? Oh, and one last thing before I end here. I've been doing some backward walking, especially on hills. So there are a handful of different hills in my neighborhood. And when I get to them, I do backward walking. It's part of the knees over toes guy thing. And it's supposed to really help strengthen your knees. And there was one, there's one just long, 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 steady hill. I would say at least two tenths of a mile, perhaps longer. And I walked that whole thing backwards and I was feeling some muscles, uh, both in the front and backs of my legs, uh, in, up into my glutes. I think that is gonna be a valuable exercise right there. So that's it for my update. I'd like to hear how things are going for you. If you're doing the get moving challenge, How's that been going? Any lessons learned? Any tips you want to share? And if you're doing some other sort of a challenge, again, I'd love to hear what your results have been, your progress, etc. Please let me know down in the comments below. That's going to be it for this week. As always, thank you for watching.